After a rough fall, the number of RSV cases in Georgia continues to decline, but some people who've contracted the respiratory illness complain they can't seem to get well. Our VFR team looked into the possibility that RSV can cause long term issues. Here's Jerry Carnes. The coughing and wheezing of RSV typically lasts less than a week, but some patients complain of symptoms far beyond that, prompting the question, can respiratory syncytial virus, or RSV, lead to long-term problems? Let's verify. Our sources are Dr. Preeti Jaggi, a pediatric infectious disease specialist at Children's Healthcare of Atlanta and Emory University, the Centers for Disease Control, and several studies looking at the relationship between RSV and young children and the possibility of long-term issues. Dr. Jaggi says children may appear to get over about with RSV only to start wheezing all over again. Another virus could re-trigger it. It could lead to another issue called bronchiolitis. And that's a very, very common illness that we see a lot of, and that's what we have been seeing a lot of this year. So a lot of our data is primarily coming from those children that are two years in, of age and younger. Bronchiolitis is an inflammation of the small airways in the lungs. A study out of China concluded that severe bronchiolitis during infancy increases the risk that a child will develop asthma later in life. According to the CDC, RSV is the most common cause of pneumonia in children under the age of one. If your child has wheezing symptoms later on, I would go see uh, your pediatrician or your doc, your clinician uh, to, to evaluate that. The CDC also says that severe RSV can lead to pneumonia, asthma, or chronic obstructive pulmonary disease in adults. So we can verify, yes, RSV can lead to long-term health problems, particularly when it comes to young children. If you see a claim online that you want us to verify, send us an email to verify at 11alive.com. You can also text the word verify to the number you see on your screen.